U.S. Breaking News, Change Your Read Newspaper Habit. Philadelphia, Al Horford has one word to describe Boston Celtics coach Brad Stevens. Genius. Horford gushed about his coach's whiteboard prowess after Stevens twice drew up after timeout plays that delivered layups at critical junctures of Boston's 101-98. Overtime win over the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 3 of an Eastern Conference semi-final series on Saturday night at the Wells Fargo Center. Stevens twice called mid-possession timeouts in order to draw up sets when his team looked disheveled. The first resulted in a Jalen Brown layup to tie the game with 24 seconds to play in regulation. The second put Horford in position to muscle home a winning layup with 5.5 seconds remaining in overtime. Brad is a genius, man. Unbelievable, Horford said during a non-court interview with ESPN immediately after Boston's win to take a 3-0 series lead. The Celtics trailed by a point when both Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons misfired with under 20 seconds remaining in overtime. Stevens called consecutive timeouts with 8.4 seconds to go and, with Al Horford posting up Robert Covington alone under the basket. Horford caught a long lob from Marcus Morris and finished on the opposite side of the rim to put Boston out front 99-98. Sometimes he draws stuff up and I look at it. Him like, confused, Horford said while playfully scrunching his face. But Marcus delivered it, great pass, I missed some shots that I normally make there but I made that one so it was good. Horford had missed the front end of two free throws with a chance to tie the game a short time earlier. Horford then came up with a steal on a possession after his go-ahead layup and sealed the win with two freebies. Brown who said Stevens drew up a hell of a play call when Brown produced a similar layup after catching a lob with Urson over defending late in regulation. Marveled at the way Stevens put his team in position for key baskets. We got two game-winning, game-tying buckets, layups. That says it all, said Brown. We played hard, we fought, it was a tough environment but, when it came to an, after timeout play, to draw up, a big basket that we needed. We were getting layups. I tip my hat off to Brad Stevens. The 41-year-old Stevens has become renowned for his after-timeout play calls, particularly in anticipating how the opposition will defend a certain action. This postseason, the Celtics have run a league-high 138 after-timeout possessions, according to Synergy Sports data. The Celtics are averaging 1.029 points per play, the fifth best mark among the 16 playoff teams through Saturday's games. The Celtics are averaging 0.984 points per play overall this postseason, ranking eighth overall, according to Synergy data. That man Brad Stevens is a guru, said Morris. He might have the best out of bounds plays Eva ever seen. He called the switch that got Horford on Covington at the end of overtime, and knew it was going to happen.